My mission is to impact the hearts and minds of women, helping them change their stories and empowering them to love themselves, their bodies, and their lives. What is up, everybody? Welcome to the Change Your Story podcast. I'm Hannah Dawson, your host and transformation coach. I'm a certified personal trainer, nutritionist, mindset coach, writer, speaker, and creator of the Fit Club Babes app. And I am here to help you transform your life. While I love teaching all things nutrition and fitness, and trust me, you'll get lots of that on here, my true passion lies in the power of mindset and self-relationship. I know firsthand how powerful a mindset shift can be. It has profoundly impacted not only my health and fitness journey, but also my relationship with myself, and it can do the same for you too. Many women believe as we age, we lose our beauty, body, and health, but that's not true. You can feel and look amazing and get better with age. And I'm going to show you how. Are you ready to change your story? Let's flip the script one thought at a time. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to the Change Your Story podcast. I'm your host and transformation coach, Hannah Dawson. And I just want to say before we even begin, thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing this time your space, this place with me in your ears. I can promise you it will never be a waste of your time that you will always leave the Change Your Story podcast feeling more motivated, more focused, um, with more clarity, uh, more inspiration, and more empowered than before you pressed play and so I just want to say thank you thank you for being here thank you for allowing me to empower you and inspire you on this health and fitness journey and I am so excited we have a new series Um, and it's kind of going to piggyback off of the last series because this is something that I have been listening to as a coach I get to listen to check-ins and feedback and really get to know all of you women and you know, all of you on my social media platforms too by asking questions. And so, you know, I thought we would really have, you know, a good series of leading up to um, my free masterclass. It's called The Three Keys to Mastering Your Metabolism Over 35 Through the M3 Method. All right. And so that feels really long, but essentially... Um, after this series, I will have a free masterclass that you can join. The links will be in all of these show notes. So just to let you know, you can get on the know how, um, so that you don't miss when we do this free masterclass. And so essentially I'm going to give you the keys to the kingdom. I'm going to give you the three keys to mastering your metabolism over 35. So let's unpack that today. Today, you guys, today's topic is talking about rewriting your story. And I really want to dive into that because, you know, we can have so many beliefs, so many thoughts about our body, about who we are, um, you know, and what the hell does this have to do with metabolism? Everything. Us women want to feel and look good. And what worked in our 20s isn't going to work in our 30s, 40s, or 50s. And let's be real, ladies, what worked in our 20s didn't really work. It was just our metabolism was a lot different and it was never sustainable because if it was, you wouldn't be here where in this place where you are with your body today, you would have had these amazing results that you could have sustained in this lifestyle. But we never created a lifestyle we decided to chase the fads the instant we some of us got caught up in party lives uh lifestyles and then right into having kids and we just didn't really know and and that's another thing that I want to say is some some of us even me included just didn't know and just didn't have the knowledge and the wisdom that we do today so my goal as a coach is to provide you (laughs) having a hard time talking today, provide you with all of the knowledge, all of the know-how. And we're going to go into that. So rewriting your story. I know that um, wherever you're at, you're in here, you're tuning in today because some part of your relationship with yourself is feeling stuck. Whether that's your body, whether that's a love for your body, whether that's your energy, whether that just feels like things just feel stuck. I don't know. Can you relate? You just, you feel stuck, whether that's, you know, in wanting to start healthy habits, whether you feel stuck in, you feel like you've tried everything, whether you feel stuck in, um, in 
unhealthy habits, like all of this, all of these things that we're just frustrated, we're frustrated with feeling like our bodies aren't working and it's easy to buy into the lie that you know as we get older we lose our beauty body and um our beauty body and health um and that's just such a crock of crap a crock of crap (laughs) it's not true and so the thing with our stories is this is that I, I say this to the fit club uh community all the time that the number one key and here's one of the keys um, to mastering your metabolism is your mindset mindset is the foundation for every single thing in your life if you could understand what mindset actually means and we're going to dive into that today so um you know we're going to be talking today about systems right james clear says it very well he says we do not rise to the level of our goals but we fall to the level of our systems it's like what type of system do you have for your mindset right what have you even thought about the system right and so i'm going to dive into a little bit about that today like the system what is a system let's just say it as it is rewriting your story how why would you want to rewrite your story because the story that is currently in your mind is either moving you forward or keeping you stuck or keeping you stuck and so what controls that story it's called a belief system. There's a system, you have a belief system that is either moving you forward or keeping you stuck. And maybe you get some momentum for a bit and then you get a limited belief or something that trips you up. And so what I love about teaching you women and what I love about, you know, learning and empowering you is that used to be me. I felt stuck and I didn't know what was tripping me up and I would get some momentum for a bit and then boom, it would be like I would hit a wall or I would self-sabotage and I didn't understand that, you know, it wasn't that I was, what I was doing was wrong. I kept trying to change outside circumstances, you know, maybe I don't, I'm not motivated enough, my whatever, whatever, I had all these excuses, maybe it's my metabolism, my age, maybe my hormones, maybe it's just my genetics, but those are really all external things and it really came down to my belief system. System. I didn't believe, you know, that I could. I didn't believe that I was worthy. Um, I had a lot of false beliefs about who I was and what I could achieve. Um, so that what is what was hanging me up. And the more I started educating, so just a little background, ladies, on on me is I come from, you know, a background of, you know, really battling um, eating disorders and body dysmorphia. And so you know, a lot of that came from lack of knowledge of understanding what food was, what it did for my body, and even uh, training, even in my first years of being a trainer and, and working out, it was always seen as a punishment or always seen as oh, this thing that, you know, I needed to do to get smaller. Um, it was always this unattainable thing. And I just always felt more exhausted than anything. And so I had to figure out what the beliefs that were holding me back. And a lot of it was just ignorance. I had no idea. And once I started learning about what nutrition was, um, how what proper training was, what food did for my body, you know, once I stopped chasing diets and actually started learning about nutrition and what I needed for my body, everything changed. It was like those little, it was like little mental jail cells were actually coming unlocked. They weren't actually locked. I just was putting myself in these mental prisons. So I would trip myself up every single time uh, because I would get so caught up by what everybody else was doing or what was on social media um and i say this to the fit club babes and i say this to my one-on-one coaching clients all the time i say you know when you start with me the one thing i ask for is to shut all the other coaches all the information off because it's really hard to stay focused when you're listening to other things that could contradict what you're doing and then guess what that plants a seed of doubt or that makes you think that maybe what you're doing isn't the right way. So it's really important um, that you stay focused. And so I love this analogy. Um, I heard it actually from Amy Porterfield um, when I was listening to one of her podcasts, but I always use it now. And she talks about, you know, um, Sea Biscuit. It's this horse show, uh, it's a horse that races and how they have these little um, cups on the sides of their eyes so that they stay focused when they're racing because any little 
um, flicker or anything that they could see could distract them and it will interrupt their race it will interrupt their momentum and so that's kind of like what it is in your in your journey is whatever you commit to fully commit to it right whatever you want in your life you have to be fully committed to it you have to be fully in alignment with that this is where you're gonna go and that by the end of this that's where you will end up and even in a better place and the thing is we have to break those beliefs that there's quick fixes that things can come easy that we can take shortcuts Um, a lot of the time if we find ourselves in a place where we're looking for a shortcut that's a clear indication that we're struggling with a limited belief that our belief system is broken so we we are essentially saying to ourselves like I'm just going to say this, okay, ladies, and some, I'm not talking to the people that actually need this medication, but I'm talking to you ladies that want the easy way out, that you've bought into the belie, that the belie, you have bought into the lie that your metabolism is broken, that your hormones are messed up and you need to take Ozempic. You need to take Ozempic because that's going to solve your problem. Once you lose the weight, then then it's going to be so easy to keep the habits and it's going to be so easy to eat healthy. But that is a broken belief system. You have told yourself that. But the root of that is unwillingness to do the hard work. The root of that is impatience. And I know that sounds harsh and I know some of you, I may rub you the wrong way. I'm only saying this because I love you and and I know that you know, um, this is stuff that I had to learn the hard way. You cannot skip the process. Um, you know, if, if eating is an issue, I I say this all the time, then we need to dial into why is eating an issue? Are you eating enough? What are you even eating? You know, a lot of us will go to these quick fixes, cut out food, go to pills, go to shots, like go to surgeries before we actually even do, the the detective work like what is going on like see what's actually going on a lot of doctors a lot of naturopaths and nutritionists won't actually get you to record what the heck you're even consuming what are your habits a lot of the time it comes down to our daily habits finding a quick fix or something to lose the weight really fast i will say this again will not make life easier it's actually going to make it a lot harder because you would you won't have built the foundation to sustain it. You won't have built the tools and the mindset and the resilience to work through whatever life and the journey is going to have for you. It's the journey is there. Those those struggles are there. It is it is there to look inward, not outward. Right? We we want to go to these things to fix something. But the thing that the only thing that needs fixed is the mindset. We have a broken belief system. So we have to rewrite our story. So I'm going to ask you a question and I'm going to give you some homework today. And that is it. That is all. And then we will move on to episode two, which I will see you for next week. So my question for you is, what is one belief that you currently have about your body or your metabolism that may be holding you back from changing your story? That may be holding you back from doing the things that you know that you should do? A lot of the time is we think we have to do everything at once, right? When we really don't, we just need to figure out what is the easiest thing that I can do to start with now. Um, Because nobody can do it for you. A pill will not make you love yourself more. Being a skinnier, lighter version of yourself will not magically change everything. I know, I know, I know it feels like it will, but it won't. You will just be met with another level of distortion. And trust me, it doesn't feel good to be there. You will never recognize where you're at because you never recognized where you were. I will say this a thousand times again, you know, until you learn to love the body you have, you will not see the body that you want. In order to have the body you want, you have to learn to love the body that you have. And how do we love the body that we have? Well, we first have to build a relationship with ourselves and with our body. That starts with our mindset. That starts with our belief system. What are we telling ourselves? What are the belief systems? Where is the belief systems broken? And how can we create new belief systems? You guys, this is what... um, is going to be in the masterclass. I'm really going to be showing you the systems that have to be in place for this to happen because 
if you do not have the systems in place, if your systems are broken, guess what? Your new habits will be ineffective. The things that you want for change will not work. They may work for a little bit, but it will be like you keep hitting a wall. All right. So I want to give you a little bit of homework today, you guys, and you can feel free to share this with me. You can DM me or email me. Everything will be in the show notes. I would love to hear your reflections and, um, and just see kind of where you're at on this. If this resonated with you, I would love to know, um, you know, okay. So I'm going to get you to journal about the belief that you feel like is holding you back. So one belief and be honest as you can, because Honesty brings clarity, all right? And next week, we are going to be talking about, you know, why, you know, um, just understanding and learning isn't enough, right? So be as honest as you can so we can get some clarity, all right? Reflect on how it affects your fitness journey. Uh, how, how is this belief affecting how you show up for yourself, how you get dressed, how you speak to yourself, your inner dialogue, how you uh, show up to yourself to your workouts, or maybe you don't, how you meal prep, or maybe you don't, um, your relationship with food, um, how you feel when you eat, like really get raw and real with yourself and write down what it is. All right. And then, and then I want you to, I want you to flip it. Okay. What is one new belief that you could adopt that aligns with the future version of you, that aligns with the version of you of your highest self. What belief do you need to hang on to? Because let me tell you, girl, all you need to do is believe in one little belief. It's like a mustard seed. It will plant and it will grow so strong and so big. And let me encourage you a little bit more. If you could have believed the lie for so long and it, and it compounded and is the result of what you're seeing now, Let me tell you the power of a small little belief can do the exact same thing. So how can you flip that belief that's holding you back, the broken belief system, to some belief that you could adopt that is going to align with your highest self, okay? So I'm so excited to hear back and your thoughts on this. Please send me a message or email or whatever you want. Um, You guys, you can leave me a review on the podcast. It literally is... Uh, what helps me get found. It's your way to support me. You can leave me whatever review. You can rate the podcast. Um, It's how it gets found. It's how I can help other women too that may be going through this as well. So I just want to say thank you for sharing. And you guys, make sure you click the links below and register or get on the list for the free Mastering Your Metabolism Masterclass. It will be end of October, November. uh, But there will be more in the email, so don't worry. So get on that email list so you'll be the first to know how to register for that free class. You do not want to miss this. I'm going to be teaching you everything that um, that you need to know regarding this. But you guys, that is it. That is all. I love you all. Have an amazing day. So um, until next time, bye for now, you guys.